rather than all or nothing thinking, maybe um, reducing that fight or flight response in our body, that react and respond time, getting less reacting um, and more of a response to a threat or a perceived um, affection. Um, and maybe seeing where that sits for you on a SUD score, let's look at reducing the reaction time and bringing in more of the response time. And you can rate that on a SUD score between zero and 10. 10 being that you're highly reacted to things and you would like to let in more positivity or could be negativity or zero being that um, you're completely like, you're gonna, if someone ticks you off that, you know, it doesn't, doesn't do anything or if, if, or if you have any um, strong emotions that you actually um, take some time to think about it before re um, reacting with a yes or a no. So seeing where that sits with you in your body um, and what that is on your sun scale, we'll do a salad segment. I'll just have a quick drink because it's very humid and I am sweating. That is fast asleep. <laughs> Starting with a side of the hand, we'll do a setup and following after me. And just repeat, um, when I pause, just repeat what I say. Or you, you have the option to repeat what I say and taking full responsibility for your own well-being. Even though I may have been black and white thinking, or maybe people have been telling me I've been black and white thinking. And I need to be more positive or more negative. I'm open to loving and accepting myself. Even though I need to be more in the gray. Maybe people want me to be more in the gray because it's comfortable for them. I'm still open to loving and accepting myself. Even though I may have been reacting, shooting from the hip in a tightly wound spring. And I'm open to getting more response time before I react. I'm still open to loving and accepting myself. Top of the head, all this black and white thinking this black and white thinking this all or nothing this positive or negative this yes or no whenever something happens in life and that's all or nothing I'm reacting. When I see a threat. There's none of this great time. It's either a yes or no. Angry or not angry. Overwhelmed with love or no love at all. This is so black and white in my mind. It's like when I see something that I really want, and I just devour it up. Until there's nothing left. And I might get really angry at it. Because I enjoyed the feelings it gave me.
And I like to be more positive. But I seem to be more negative. I'm split in two. Yes or no to life. There might be people I push away. With my way of thinking. May keep people trapped. So they can keep feeding me. That's a good way of thinking in my mind. That's the only way of knowing. And I should be more positive. And I should be more negative. But how do I know anything else? When this is all I know. And all I think. But when I think about it, in these moments, where I want what I want, or I push away those that hurt me, am I actually thinking? Is there some graph in my mind that I'm reflecting to? Or am I just busy reacting? How dare you do this? <laughs> well, you don't love me enough. It's almost like there's that part of my brain that just switches off. It does not seem black and white. You might be seeing red. <laughs> And when I calm down, and I might be a bit in the gray when I calm down. And I might swing between the black and the white. And I think, oh, I shouldn't have done that. I should have fought better. But maybe there's that part of my brain it's so busy perceiving all these threats in life. It's constantly hypervigilant. It's always seeing danger. And when it sees danger, a threat to my existence, or a threat to my love, it just reacts. Little monkey mind in my brain, or well, that reptilian part of my brain switches off all thought. And I'm just too busy reacting. And when the dust settles, there might be a lot of hurt people. And I might be hurt as well. And maybe there's been a lot of hurt that's been going on in life. Kind of like a wounded animal. That when even help is offered, you can't trust that help. And it might snap at it. And it might be told to be more positive. It might have some behaviors reinforced upon it. But it's still hurting. Because it's not being what it really wants to be. And it's not releasing that hurt. All that hurt that was done. So much hurt. 
It might have been a lifetime of hurt. That we've just been reacting to. There may have been some good people in our lives that we pushed away just to protect our hurt. And it seems illogical to do that. But there's that monkey brain again. That part of our brain that's just interested in keeping us alive. Our fight, flight, freeze. And maybe, just maybe, if I experience some of these negative thoughts in a positive way, in a healthy way, I release some of these negative emotions and it might feel really crap to do so. <laughs> that it might allow some room for some positivity. It might allow some room for some growth. I might start thinking more in the gray. And I might start responding more and reacting less. And I might choose to go into the black and white when I need to make an appropriate decision. Appropriate for myself and appropriate for others. So I'm allowing that space. I'm reducing that reaction time. I'm understanding myself a little bit more. And I'm just reacting. I'm reducing some of that hurt. It hurt to be hurt. It hurt to have my love betrayed. All the emotions and all the feelings that come up. I choose not to react to them. I choose to let them go so that I can allow positivity. All that hurt, all that pain, I'm letting go of that pain, I'm letting go of that hurt, I'm allowing trust to find the appropriate help. so that I can respond more. That I don't have to view life as a negative experience. There are definitely negative things out there, but do I need to react to it? Or do I respond to it? The less I react, means that the, the, the gray is growing bigger. And I'm choosing to respond. And I'll respond with a black and white if I need to. To put up boundaries. to make sure that hurt doesn't happen again. 
in a healthy, respectful way. Releasing all that hurt in mind, body, and soul. Taking a deep breath in. Seeing where that sits for you in your body, in your mind, um, possibly your soul. Um, and if you've got a drink of water, definitely go have a drink of water. And seeing where the black and white and things, um, the yes or no, the positives and the negatives, how computers work, how the universe works is a function of um, yes or no's, positives and negatives. Um, and without one, you can't have the other. But if we have too much of one, we have an imbalance. Um, so therefore, if we can just reduce um, one of these imbalances, get a balance um, with everything. I mean, they tell us to eat a, a balanced meal, <laughs> everything like that, so um, to live more healthily. So with that said, um, I'm Dion, I'm an EFT practitioner and Soma Breath Instructor, uh, along with my wife, Rebecca, who is an EFT practitioner. Uh, we run an online business offering online EFT and Soma Breath. Um, so if you're interested in, um, as EFT can, um, we stimulate the points, the acupressure points whilst focusing on a negative element. So we are um, both uh, focusing on the cognitive and also interrupting the amygdala response, that fight, flight, freeze response to the hippocampus where all those probably negative memories are stored um, to help reduce and allow positivity to naturally arise in whatever form it chooses to be. Um, so once again, I'm Dion from Eflotion and I look forward to seeing you in the next EFT Intuitive Tap and Chat. Bye for now.